Hello there everybody and welcome to this channel. My name is Savvy from SAAnatomy.com and today we're going to be working on a camel. This time we're going to be working in Blender so just get your Blender and your drawing pads ready. Everything else is still the same and let's get started. So just like the pig that we worked on before we're starting off just by modeling the basic shape of the camel. Um, so I just have my reference reference images ready in the background and I'm just modeling out the basic details that I want to sculpt on in the future. Uh, I did try to put in a little more effort into uh, the details or the topology of the face and the neck because I know that uh, it will help in the long line uh, even if you remesh it. Uh, the topology will be changed, but the major shapes will still be there. So that's what I did for this camel. Uh, and then with the legs, as you see here, uh, I just did everything as simple as possible. Started off with a normal um, cube and then just subdivided it a little bit to make it into a cylinder. Or you could have just started off with a cylinder as well and then dropped down the subdivision levels to about six. Um, and then just starts uh, modeling out and shaping out the entire form. Now, at this point, you don't necessarily have to merge all the vertices together. The remesh tool can do it for you. So um, at this point, you just, uh, like you see here, I'm just putting in the tail. You can just throw everything into the sculpt and add in the multi-resolution. Well, join everything together first and then remesh everything. So click on remesh and it will merge everything together. The reason why I like to um, either merge some parts of the mesh, like the vertices, for example, uh, is because uh, sometimes when you're remeshing, you'll find issues such as holes or just unwanted uh, topology or just the mesh just breaking entirely. Now, it's highly, you probably won't see that happen with this mesh. Uh, because it's a really simple um, animal or the forms are really simple but sometimes it's much easier to do that. So as you see here everything now is now uh, remeshed and we're just gonna hop in and sculpt everything together so like we did in the pig video as well we just smoothed everything out first and then uh, we go into sculpting all the major details. Now, the reason why we're smoothing things out again is because the mesh is uh, the multi resolution adds in a, a lot of um, creases around or a lot of uh, detail. It's almost like it's beveling all the hard edges. It's not just the multi resolution, but it's also the uh, the remesh itself. So Blender is trying to smooth things out depending on your um, topology. So because Blender doesn't automatically smooth the uh, edges out for you, you have to go in and uh, do that by yourself. So uh, it's much easier to uh, sculpt things out this way right at the beginning. We are going to add in the hump on the camel's back a little later on. The main focus of the video is the anatomy, the body, the muscles and, and all that, all the major groups. So. Unlike the previous video, the pig, where I shaped everything out first, uh, made like a complete camel. This time I just uh, took it a little more simpler. I made it a little more simpler. So it's we still shaped out all the uh, major parts, um, but now it's easier to just jump in and uh, dive into uh, adding in all the muscle details. So parts that we won't necessarily focus on with this sculpt is, uh, like I said, uh, the hump. Uh, we're going to add that in in the later stage. We are going to focus on it later, just not now, because the hump is really simple. You just add in a uh, sphere and you just move it around a little bit. You sculpt in some rough details here and there, probably using the noise tool or the noise brush. I don't believe Blender has a noise brush, but if you are in ZBrush, you can um, use the noise brush and add in those kind of details because it's just a major big blob. It's not a uh, really defined, de it doesn't have many defined details such as in the body of the camel. 
Now, the kind of camel that we chose to work on for this video is the one-humped camel, uh, also known as the dromedary camel or the camelus dromedarius. It is obviously different from its counterpart, which is the two-humped camel. You can obviously spot the difference very easily, or as it's also known as the Bactrian camel or camelus bactrianus. For this sculpt, I wanted to showcase the ribs as well, but I later regretted this at a later stage, mainly because the mesh just didn't allow me. The resolution was just a little too low, so I smoothed things out and then uh, added in a lot more uh, of your normal details, such as the fascia that, that covers uh, most parts. Uh, but you can just make it a different mesh. You can just have a, you can have ribs as different meshes and then you can sculpt over them in the major mesh or the, uh, the uh, primary mesh that you'll be working on, such as the body. So just have the ribs as separate objects. Um, then for the other body parts, the feet, the legs and whatever, it, it was fairly easy to uh, work on these um, body parts, the biceps femoris uh, and all that. Um, because like I said before, you just have one big mesh that is already close to completion and then you just sculpt over the parts that you'd like to work on. It's very different if, for example, you want to actually model all these different parts together, all these different muscle groups together and then put it into one whole uh, character or one whole um, model. Uh, that's obviously a large project, it's a large scale project. In itself compared to what we're doing here we're just sculpting all the major muscle groups and then um all the other different sub tools that you'll probably have is just the eye and the hump and the skeleton but usually you just want to sculpt everything in together this way now i sculpted most of these details with no subdivision um, because i wanted to focus on the major shapes before going in and sculpting all the finer details. So you can also do the same just by uh, having probably one more subdivision level and then sculpting everything in. But I usually just like to have the major shapes blocked out first and then uh, have an easier way of sculpting later on with those muscle groups shaped out properly at first. Um, you can totally ignore some of that. You can totally just go into probably a subdivision level of one of one or two. But like I've said before in previous videos, you don't usually want to do that. Just stick to a low subdivision if you're moving major parts of the mesh. Unless your subdivision levels are low enough in the poly count, then you can move things around much easier. This is because of certain reasons uh, your machine might not be strong enough to do this to move major meshes uh, all all around like move the mesh in, in a larger scale right um, because it's just too much information to calculate you just have like this really dense mesh and your engine is just trying to calculate every single point so you just do that in the lower subdivision uh, the other reason uh, is because uh, going back to your machine not being able to uh, calculate all those points all at once, it's going to be extremely slow and uh, you just can't get that much information out very quickly. Another reason is because it just doesn't work that well. Uh, you, For example, you, it, you'll find it really difficult to smooth something with a smooth brush. Uh, if you are at a very higher uh, subdivision level, it's just a lot trickier to smooth things out that way. So just do everything in a lower subdivision. Now, when it comes to the face, just like most animals, there's nothing really special. Um, uh, besides the fact that a camel has like different shaped face, you can obviously see, you can notice the differences. Um, and when you're looking at it this way, it almost looks like a very modern Brachiosaurus, if, if I should say. So there's nothing really different. There's nothing really special. You just have to uh, remember that your animals have certain muscles that are supposed to appear, such as the masseta. You have to sculpt that in the temporalis. You have to sculpt that in those kind of muscles. 
um, the zygomaticus, those kind of muscles, you have to make sure that you remember all those kind of muscles and then put that in. Now, coming to the last part of this sculpt, the hump of a camel. Uh, remember, I did say that it will be a simple thing to work on. So you just add a sphere like I'm doing here, and then you just move it around with your move tool, or you can do the same thing. Uh, it, just move it around like through vertices at a lower subdivision, obviously. So just uh, model out the shape of the hump, and then you can just sculpt into the rough details here and there. It's it's just a big fat gland. It's just a big sack of fat. So we're just gonna add in some bumps here and there, and that should be it.